In this lesson, we're going to delve into the role of Bridge, what it's for, and how we take advantage of the way it works with Photoshop. And the simplest way to describe Bridge is a visual browser. It has some other built-in benefits as well, but ultimately, one of the benefits of Bridge is it allows us to look at things visually by thumbnails and then do things like sort and rate and all the things that we want to do to make our life easier. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, technically Bridge is a separate application, but there's really not that many occasions I could think of where you would want, want to run Bridge by itself because its whole purpose, its role really is to help you in other software. Whether that software is other Adobe products like Illustrator or InDesign or in our case Photoshop, the bottom line is we're going to use Bridge as our place to look at things and then once we found what we want, we open them in that other piece of software. Now I suppose there is the possibility that you might want to use Bridge standalone in a situation like this. Maybe you've finished a photo shoot and you're just at a cafe somewhere or on a plane coming home and you want to get started by looking through your images and taking advantage of Bridge's ability to sort and rate and that kind of thing before you do any adjusting of the images. And in that scenario, you may well want to do that work in Bridge first and then later on come back and do the actual adjusting. Now as an aside, this is the main difference between Bridge and Lightroom because they share a lot of similarities. The difference is Lightroom is an all-in-one program that does not only the sorting and rating and things like that, but you can also adjust the images directly in that program. With Bridge, we do our sorting and rating and everything else. Then when we need to do our adjustment, we either use Camera Raw and or Photoshop. So that's kind of where they link together. Now one of the things I also want to mention briefly is I see a lot of people talking about how do I get my files into Bridge? Well technically you don't because you're not actually putting anything into Bridge. You still put your images onto your hard drive the way you normally would. You set up a structure in your operating system to say these are my folders, these are where I want my photos to go, then you use Bridge to look inside that folders, hence the whole visual browser kind of concept. So whenever you're thinking about downloading photos or importing them, you're not really importing them into Bridge, you're just using Bridge to view them. So you, again, you still set up the structure that you want in your operating system to say, this is how I want my images to work, and then you use Bridge as your way to look in those images and do all those the functions we'll be talking about throughout the course. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of the difference between doing things in Bridge or Photoshop. So for example, here I am in Photoshop and I want to open an image. So I'll just go to a folder that I know has some images. And depending on how your operating system dialog box is set up, when you go to look at images, you probably see a small thumbnail. On a certain point, trying to compare between a bunch of very similar photographs, it might be kind of difficult if that's the only deciding factor that you have. And again, depending on your operating system, you may not even see that. You may only see a list without anything. So that doesn't really help you very much at all. If we compare that to Bridge, in Bridge I have various options that we'll be exploring as we go. I could simply make my thumbnails a little bit larger. But frankly, one of the methods that I use that I'll probably show multiple times throughout this whole course is I just single click on one image, then I press the space bar, and that goes into this full screen view, then I can use my arrow key to go through them, look at them all, and once I find the image that I actually want to work on, I press O for open. In this case, because it's camera raw, it starts there first. I do whatever adjusting and I hit open. Now it ends up in Photoshop. So back in Bridge now, I hit the space bar. The space bar is a little toggle on and off switch. So personally, I like this method in Bridge a lot better because it, rather than seeing a small little preview, I'd like to see it a whole lot bigger. And when we talk later on in the whole rating and labeling system, you can even do that in this large view. So for me, Bridge is my starting point to say, this is where I want to figure out the image I want to work on. Then I use the direct connection between Bridge and Photoshop to work on the image and do whatever I want in Photoshop. I'm going to save it generally back into this same folder. Now, in the next lesson, we're going to talk a little more in detail about once you jump into Photoshop, some of the ways you can go back and forth. Because there's lots of ways you can do it from 
keyboard shortcuts to buttons you can press and all that kind of stuff, as we'll see next.